Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and its fast overview video for animation design. This video will show workflow of the plugin without much explanation for different features. For more detailed description of the functionalities, check other tutorial videos. Let's begin. To start working with Animation Designer, we need a model on the scene. Here I will just drag and drop some model. And now we need to open Animation Designer window. We can do it by going Window, Fimfosol Creations, Animation Designer window. We can do it also by clicking right mouse button on the Animator component and open in Animation Designer. Let's dock this window here. Animation Designer focuses on current selected object in the Kairaki view. First thing we need to do is get some information about the skeleton. We can do it by single clicking the button. Now we should check if Animation Designer collected right bones. Make sure that the root and the pelvis bones was chosen correctly by automatic search. And it seems everything is ok. We need to host some animation clip to play on this model. We can hit this button to show all animation clips which are in the current animation controller of this model. And we want to work on the walk animation. Let's select it. And now we see that the model moved to zero position. That's because the root motion of the animator is doing that. Now we can move model in a placement we want to test it. Now we can preview the animation on which we will work. Let's do some first modification to the animation. Go to the Modificators tab and let's select bone which we want to change. Let's go with Spine Bone. Here we can set for example Rotation Offset which will be applied to the whole animation. We can also open the curve window to simply animate this offset value. When we set it like this, then in the middle of the time of animation, the value here will be multiplied by, like you see on the sides, zero. We can go to the negative value, but for this purpose we will set it as zero. And now you see that the offset is applied. Now let's just export this animation and let's check if it actually works. Let's drag and drop our model to the preview and let's hit play. And as we can see, our modification is applied correctly. Now let's do something more complex. You probably see a lot of potential in the modificators, but the main power of the animation designer lies in the limbs. Let's disable the modificator and let's switch to the setup. We can add some limbs manually, but I will describe it in other tutorial video. Now let's use auto limb detection algorithm. To do it correctly, character must have assigned correct typos. We can check it under this foldout and hit check model typos. If it's wrong, we can drag and drop model with typos here or hit right mouse button on this button and it will be done automatically. Now we can hit this button, we get some report what algorithm found and as you can see it found all of the character limbs correctly. You can add some cloth elements as limbs in your models to use features of the limbs. So let's start with the elasticness. Elasticness is simulating muscles behavior constantly on every movement of each bone. You will enable it just by hitting this enable toggle. Let's do it for upper body limbs and see the effect. We can easily compare motion to the original clip hitting this button, which will disable all animation designer effects. And you see what this elasticness is doing. It's not just changing motion of a whole animation, but also influencing the animation we do with the modificators, but it also can be ignored if wanted. You have a bunch of different parameters to adjust the elasticness algorithm to make it work with your model as you want it. You have full control on intensity of this effect 
thanks to the blend amount animation curve. More details about these parameters will be covered in other tutorial videos. It's very important to save your work if you want to go back to modifying animations of this character later. To do it, you just click this new save button and now you can be sure that none of your work you done on the animations will be lost. Let's switch to the inverse kinematics bookmark. The animation designer inverse kinematics are capable for very different effects. In this video, I will just quickly show some of the usages. Like for arm, you can enable inverse kinematic. Sometimes you need to adjust some of the automatic motion, like here. You can apply some static offsets, adjust the max stretching, rotations of the eye case, and easily blend it with the original animation clip. But let's focus in this video on the legs inverse kinematics. Let's make this character walk animation be more heavy, since it's very big character, giant troll. To do it, we will enable leg eye case on both legs and unfold this bookmark. Here you see settings for the pelvis bone. Thanks to the leg eye case, which we just enabled, when we move pelvis bone, the legs will not clip through the floor. And now we can apply some animation to the pelvis bone. Let's set it initially on the zero value and if you are animator, you know that when an animation character is putting its foot on the floor, the pelvis should go a bit more down in this moment. And we can easily identify the moment thanks to the guides on the curve fields. So it's around here. And it's a bit too soon. Let's adjust it. Maybe let's make this effect a bit more visible. And here we should move down again for the second leg. Let me quickly adjust the curve. All right, now we can also enable one more thing, which is elasticness effect for a pelvis bone. It will smooth the motion automatically for us, like you see. Let me adjust curve again. One more thing which often is applied to the pelvis bone is offset in the x-axis. We can set here value like 0.2 and do a curve like this. And of course smaller effect like this should be applied. To be honest, in this animation we don't need it at all, since the elasticness is adding it enough. Now let's go back to the leg eye case. And what we can do is limiting the stretch, since when the leg is in pose like this, we can avoid the max stretching by lowering this value. And I think this amount is enough. And you see, it's kind of running right now. Let me adjust a bit some of the parameters. Okay, now let's compare the animation. Let's disable gizmos. That's the basic animation. And that's how we made run animation out of walk animation. Now let's just export this animation. And we see that the loop is not matching enough as it should. Looping the synchronization is caused by the elasticness since its motion is delta dynamic. And to fix this, we can add some additional frames to blend 
to make the animation seamless. Let's overwrite this and let's see if it worked. And yeah, it's much better now. And that's all for this video. It was just fast overview, so more detailed tutorials you should find soon on the channel. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe if you want to see more, hit bell for notifications and see you next time, bye bye.